Hello and welcome back viewers on the Windows 11 video series and right now the title of this video you can see on the screen which is the blue screen of that PS OD troubleshooting in Windows 11 because this issue is so frequent and so common in Windows devices mostly from Windows 7, 8, 10 and now 11 and there are some set of you know instructions and its tabs that you can follow and apply to troubleshoot the issues related to this blue screen of that so let's move to the windows 11 machine right so here we are connected to our windows 11 machine and let's start everything from the beginning which means that let's go for the troubleshooting steps one by one to give you a brief details about how to deal with these sort of errors and why we need to resolve this and why we need to know that how to resolve these issues because these crashes can disrupt your work and and lead to the data lost and if you follow the right approach so these error will be fixed but let me show you how these errors look like because right now we cannot create this blue screen of error in our lab environment so let me show you if you just type b s o d blue screen of that errors and go to the images because once you just type the text so it will just show you about the text information but here you can see on the screen that these errors look like that and mostly they show some error code related to memory management or the driver you can see and click to view each option that will give you the more understanding of the error right now you can see the stop code is the page fault in non page area and it shows mostly the memory management or driver IQL so there are a lot of different codes that you can see when this error appears on the screen so it's good and it is the recommended approach to copy the error code and the reason of that error and then you can search the error over the internet over the Microsoft community so that will help you a lot to understand the nature of error but meanwhile what you can do to resolve these issues and these errors and like I said that these crashes could be happen and the reason of these crashes could be the corrupt file the system file the windows file or any hardware failure or driver malfunctioning so these could be the reason you're getting the blue screen so first thing first you should go to the admin viewer we have already explained how to access admin viewer in the previous videos as well but specifically because we are talking about the troubleshooting of bsod's that's why we are referring event viewer again so here on the event viewer let's make it to the full to see things in a more clear way you should go to the event viewer and you should click to the system to to see the relevant information or logs that are generated because once you get the system logs you will definitely see something wrong related to your hardware or kernel or any driver anything you will you will find out because right now you can see that this is a warning you may find out some error icon here that will definitely tell you that there is something wrong going on with the hardware and once you click to that event so you will start seeing the description of that that warning or that error like that so this will give you a pretty much idea that what's going on and if you are not getting the point that what is actually happened so you can copy the text and I would suggest two ways to find out the meaning of these this description the first one is the most used approach is to just go for the Google and just Google it the whole description and you will get a lot of communities and a lot of match items comes on your search and you will find out that this error happens to other people as well and they apply different sort of tools and you know some troubleshooting techniques but 
another approach that I really wanted to give you here in this video that you just copy the whole text and you should go to the chat GPT or AI tool and which maybe which can easily access over the web browser or over the internet and paste the whole text and ask that what this means and how to resolve this issue. So this approach will also help you out and give you a lot of troubleshooting steps and tools and you can keep further asking that how to resolve it and what does what that does mean and how to navigate to certain menus and options so you will get the pretty much detailed steps to understand the issue to resolve the issue and to fully escape from that problem right after the m and viewer there is another approach that is most most important is to go to the device manager because you know as i said that this is you know happened due to the driver malfunctioning of any device so you can open the device manager and right now you can see this unknown device this is some default thing so it's not related to the bsod but while you are having the bsod errors so you can go to the device manager and find out that which device driver is malfunctioning and right just like that you will start seeing this sort of yellow icon exclamation on any of your driver that will tell you the whole story maybe that that this driver is corrupted and that is making the whole mess and you need to fix and update that driver asap to get rid of this bsod because it is not happening just due to your driver is corrupted it may happen when your driver is not updated and it is old driver and you have not installed the new so you should update the driver when ever and as soon as you see this yellow mark on any of your driver here well like i said in the beginning that this is mostly happened due to your ram issue your memory issue so the windows 11 already contain the windows memory diagnostic tool which you can run and you just have to enable this on your windows environment like that and once you click to restart now and check for the problems so it will start it it will start the process once you restart your machine and during the boot process it will start the whole checkup for your memory and try to find out that what's going on and what's bad with the memory means your ram and you may enable it from the windows environment like that so this will also resolve this bsod screen issue and if you're still getting the same error and issue so what you can try next is to open the cmd with the administrator privilege run as administrator and once you see that you need to run these two commands this sfc system file checkers can now so it will find out the problem with your system files and then repair it and then you will execute this tool dism this tool will restore your system health so you can try these two as well that if you find that there is nothing wrong with your ram with your memory or any hardware then these tools will help you out by, for fixing this windows system files and this windows corrupted file so this is a good tool and, and, a, and a recommended and suggested approach to repair your windows files like that then there are other ways to skip this error because what happens that if you're frequently getting this, this bsod and you're enabled to see these event viewer and you know the device manager because it will become a hectic to get access to your windows desktop to even see the logs or run the command prompt there are more other ways to directly access a cmd but not every user knows and understand this so there's a good approach to get your desktop screen which is what you should type msconfig so first open the run app and here you should type msconfig press enter and it will execute and open the system configuration dialog box and you should go to the boot and here's the option save boot so 
once you enable it to your machine next time once you restart your machine it will automatically go to the safe mode and this will disable all the unnecessary features and all mostly all the drivers and all that stuff that may be making the mess and that are maybe the responsible for BSOD and then you will have this desktop screen in a safe mode version where you can check out the event logs or other memory logs or you can run these system file checkers or DISM you can run other recovery tools to find out or to resolve your Windows issues on the GUI environment. Additionally, there is another approach to understand that what has happened wrong with the machine that if you just recently installed any app or any other software to your machine and just right after that you're getting this PSOD, so that definitely means that this specific application and the software that you just install is responsible for this behavior so the good approach is what you should go to the control panel to the programs and feature and find out that specific you know application and software on here and then you can install that specific software to get rid of this issue because if this software or application is responsible because you have just installed that application, that software in your machine, and you are start getting this BSOD frequently on your machine, and you are unable to use your Windows machine. So, just for the safe side, if you install it and this BSOD goes on, goes off, so which means that this software and this application is responsible. So you can try this technique as well and what I suggest to you at this point that there's a good approach that most of the users don't follow is to create a system restore point and most of the time when we stuck in these sort of problems and issues with our machine and then our machine automatically navigates us to the system recovery mode and then we see the system restore point and we start you know wondering that maybe we, sh we should have created the system system restore point in the past when our system was working fine because now to achieve that you have to give up some of your files and settings so it, it is a good approach that whenever you feel your system is working good and all the required application and softwares are working fine so at that point you should create what system restore point and let me show you just type system restore and create a restore point so if you do that if you create the system restore point because this is the azure vm so maybe it won't allow to create the system restore restore point but it is possible in your physical hardware in a physical machine that you could enable it you just need to turn on the system protection like that then click ok and once you Turn on the protection and you need to click to create and name the system restore point like say GSS RT and then click to create and it will take a while to create a restore point. So at this moment your machine looks good, everything's working fine, and this machine seems normal. So at this point, if you create the restore point, what will happen? That when things goes wrong with your machine, you can go to the recovery point, recovery mode. Of your windows and you could be you could restore your windows machine to this point so this is more helpful but all you need to do is just thinking before the incident and you need to create the system restore point when your your machine is behaving normal